Ah, well, well. And whose darling face is this wandering about my castle's grounds? <laughs> Anywho, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm sure I need no introduction, but for simplicity's sake, I'll state who I am for you to remember. I am Destin Amadeus Franz Backmint, the 57th King of Grost. Admittedly, it is a mouthful, so please, call me Destin. Lately, I've been finding myself in back-to-back -back meetings with the Brinkman Council, and just like usual, they refuse to hear me out. You need to take action like your father. What would your father do? Your father this, your father that. As if I'd listen to anything those geriatric geezers have to say. <laughs> Forgive me, I found myself more stressed than usual. Enough of talking about them. Julius and I are planning to visit a new coffee store later as I was able to establish a stronger trading contract with my wonderful friends from Milicera. I can't wait to try the new roasts. Being around Julius helps me center myself whenever I feel like I'm at my breaking point. There's something about that handsome blonde that makes me feel like I can be myself and not have to perform for others. Not to mention, since he adopted those little ones, it's been much more lively around the castle. Of course, that means I've had to learn with little Gabriel's pranks. Luckily, though, Daddy Julius knows how to get his little ones under control. Being a king isn't that easy. There's so many people who look up to you, devote themselves to you, criticize you, and wish for a more traditional king. Life has had many trials and tribulations. However, through it all, it's made me stronger in my abilities to serve the people of my country. With an afternoon free like this, I could get some hunting in the season. Before leaving with Julius, I heard Abigail is going to be making seafood carbonara. It's absolutely my favorite dish to eat, but whenever I visit Julius' family, his mother's meat pies are all I can think about. Hmm. I wonder now that Julius is a dad, if that means he'll finally be given the secret recipe. <sighs> One can only hope. Now I must be going. It was a pleasure meeting you, and until next time...